Hello. 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 And I can honestly tell you is when I'm in the shower and I tend to look down and see the biggest joke of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you find a lot of my jokes quite short and a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> Do we have any BM5s in the room? BM5s, give me a cheer. Yeah! So have you BM4s, BM4s? Yeah! Not so many of you. I suppose it's a school night. You've got your kids' homework to be doing. <laughs> I'll say this one a little bit slower. Have you got any BM6s in the room? What? She's a judge. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. Um, I'm sorry you may be the butt of a few of my jokes tonight, but it's simply because we have no nurses. Um, oh. uh, no, I don't do nurse jokes because they're going to help us loads in the hospitals. And also the only joke about nurses is their paycheck. Oh. It's not a joking matter, it needs to be sorted, right? <laughs> Do we have any lecturers in? Let's move on to lecturers. Lecturers, give us a cheer. <laughs> we got any more? Okay, alright. No, no Ashley Pringle, I can't see. It must be a scheduled lecture. <laughs> Professionalism tutorial with him today. I feel bad. <laughs> and we got Scott Border, the beautiful Scott Border. Give us a cheer. Um, Scott Border, or uh, my nickname for Scott Border is Hadrian's Wall. No, okay, fine. fine. <laughs> Scott Border, Hadrian's. That's fine. No, it's <laughs> fine. I try. No, um, uh, during Bullshit Week, sorry, I mispronounced IPL. <laughs> we got told to reflect on a lecturer of our choosing. I know, reflect. Oh. I thought it'd be really difficult. Shine Scott Border's head. All good. <laughs> Beautiful judges, and Cam, you don't get enough credit for what you do. There's not a single person in this room who you've not helped. So thank you very much. Every time I talk to you, it, it's not a bad way, but you make me feel like I want to cry. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? Like, you're talk it's like, you know the way a mum kind of says, how are you? And you're like, it just runs up. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And then we've got Tame Samson on the other end who makes us cry for all different things. <laughs> so, what can I tell you about myself? Uh, I'm brown. Some of you are thinking, no shit, he's brown. You're absolutely right, no shit. It's all pure natural brown. <laughs> Over the next few minutes, I want to talk to you about some of my personal experiences, kind of like the good, the bad, and the ugly of being brown. Say, for example, all brown people want to study medicine, eventually. I, 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 it took me some convincing, but um, i never forget, my dad sat me down, and he goes, Son? That's my dad's accent, you might. It's not a joke. Your son, you can choose whichever field you want to go into within medicine. <laughs> no, Dad, seriously, I want to talk to you about this. Uh, you know, I think you're going to go into drama school and be an actor. An actor? Yes, actor. It's pronounced doctor. <laughs> Look, Dad, look, this is not happening. I'm never doing it. I never want to study it. It's not I'm not even going to fill out the application. Forget that. It's not happening. End of. Put my foot down. So I'm filling out my UCAS form. <laughs> and I got in. And oh, oh, I wish you guys were there to see his face when I got in. It was like... <laughs> or, you know, you know, when I brought my first girlfriend home and it was like... Uh... <laughs> But, you know, I took him to Sainsbury's and there was a two-for-one discount, and bloody marvellous! <laughs> <laughs> Got into a fight with another. Actually, I found a lot of brown people get into quite a few fights, and I'm not one of them. Because I got told some very important bit of advice. Never get into a fight with someone uglier than you, because they got less to lose. And 
that's, that's a good point, right? But I've never found someone uglier than me to have a fight Aww. with. Got him, got him. I don't know if you can see this guy, but he looks badass. <laughs> and by badass, I mean he ejects his USB stick without going safety removed. <laughs> Please don't genuinely fight me, look at me. I'm as useless as homeopathy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly did get into a fight actually, it was in Jester's standard, and this, this prick came up to me. It must have been a moose man. <laughs> so yeah, he comes up to me, he goes, Oi, you giving my friend beef? So I pooed myself. <laughs> and then I realised I'm a Hindu and we don't do beef, so that was all fine. <laughs> do we have any Muslims in the house? Give it a cheer, Muslims! Woo! Oh, right. You haven't taken over here either. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, don't worry, it's not going to be a terrorist joke or any of that rubbish because we've all grown up and realised Muslims aren't terrorists and terrorists aren't Muslims. And also, I found terrorist jokes tend to Blow up in your face, so no. <laughs> Being brown, you get to go to loads of like weddings and loads of events, and uh, I got invited to my first ever Pakistani Muslim wedding. The tension in the room just rose. Did you feel that? <laughs> Don't worry, judges, calm it. It's fine. It's fine. They're all freaking over. No. Um, so I got to this wedding, and we got sat down with my friend, and my friend left me to get a drink at the bar. No, he didn't. It was a Muslim event. He didn't drink at the bar. <laughs> so he left me with these. Strange, and I thought I better get some conversation going. What shall I ask? I'll go with a standard wedding question. So, what side of the family are you from? Both. <laughs> <laughs> That's never good. You change it to Norwich, right? Oh. <laughs> At the beginning, I said I was going to go through the good, the bad, and the ugly side of being brown, and we're hitting the ugly now. Not me, don't hit me. Um, we're hitting the biggest thing to face, the biggest obstacle to face modern day brown people, especially Hindus. And yes, it's the term YOLO. For any of the uninitiated, some of the judges, YOLO stands for you only live once. And let, let's use a few examples. So um, I'm going to shout out a few examples of scenarios. And you just shout out YOLO when you feel it's appropriate, okay? So um, go for a night out before a 9 a.m. lecture. YOLO! Drug addiction. Yeah. Alcoholism. Yeah. Teenage pregnancy. Yeah. Signing up for HCA shifts. <laughs> what was up with that? <laughs> it'll be really good on your CV and you'll, you'll get a really good hospital experience. No, I clean up shit. <laughs> so I think the, the main problem Hindus have with this idea of YOLO is we believe in reincarnation and the law of karma or Gurma, as it's pronounced properly. And it's, all of Gurma's got kind of a misconception and uh, there's a misunderstanding. I'd like to clear it up with an example. So, my man on the end there, what's your name? Rob. Rob. Brilliant. I can't work with that. Brilliant. Cool. So, say Rob was to shit in my kettle. <laughs> I don't know why you would do it. You sick freak. Right. Here's the misconception of the law of Gurma. Say Rob was to shit in my kettle. The misconception is that he'd have to check his tea every morning to check if it was brown because of the tea or if I'd reciprocated the deed and shat in his kettle, right? Do you get it? No? That's fine. <laughs> Nobody ever gets it. But that's not how karma works, right? Karma is simply the law of cause and effect. So you'll have to live with the consequences of your actions, so think it through. Hey, that's pretty good, think it through. I quite like that. Alright, I propose, instead of YOLO, you only know once, why don't we use think it through? I suppose the only problem is with Think It Through, the acronym for Think It Through is TIT. <laughs> could work, right? It could work. So, I propose, instead of YOLO, you only live once, why don't we think it through and be a TIT? I've been Jay Dave, you've been absolutely fabulous. Thank you very much. <laughs> You were born to do it. Do you realise this isn't your own show? You've been going for about 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, we'll start with Cam. Um, Jay, I did not know that you're so talented. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I thought you were really serious and I did not know you were this funny. 
Please come and tell me more of your jokes. Please. Thank you. Stand up comedy, what a hard, hard thing to do. We did it brilliantly, it was really good. But I must say, it was very professional, and the way that you show, perhaps, for my money, the most, the, the peak of professionalism. While you're standing here in front of an audience of medical students, and you knew exactly what sort of joke to start off with a knob joke. <laughs> <laughs> In first stand up, isn't it? In um, Red Sox got talent history, I think. I think it was a pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> the only thing, and like, this has got absolutely nothing to do with your performance, but you need to get a pair of trousers that fit, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you got a belt on, really. <laughs> <laughs> but you look, you look yeah, really sort of away from the sky, unless that's part of the act, but. <laughs> 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 Original, but you did take my joke at the beginning because I actually write my lectures in the shower looking down. Which is rather 45 minutes long, I do it three times a day. <laughs> Otherwise, Tony would have been in there like a rat. <laughs> you want to watch him the interval now. You want to watch him. He'll be in the gents, maybe in the ladies as well. <laughs> All right. Right, it is in fact interval time. So I don't know how.